Sometimes you might feel that you're being pulled towards where you want to go, but somehow there's a force that is sort of keeping you from where you want to go. So how annoying is that, right? Like you want to go that way, but you're being pulled, you're being held back by something and you're not sure why. And this all comes down to In this episode, I'm going to talk about the three steps that you should undertake now in order to align your life with your dreams, with your desires, with your highest self. If that's something that you'd like to learn more about, then stay around. How does it feel to be alive, to be free? Are we truly in the here and now? Or are we living a dream that we created? Close your eyes. To see clearly. This is life on purpose. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of On Purpose by Lynn. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Lynn and I share with you everything you need to know about personal development and spirituality so that you can create your best life and so that you can rise to your fullest potential. If that's something that you're interested in, then make sure to subscribe. So there are three things that we need to do in order to align ourselves with where it is that we want to be, what it is that we want to create. Number one is congruency. And I've actually never really talked about this, but congruency is such a big part of aligning your life with what it is that we want. Because often what we do is we start doing all these techniques, right? When we were manifesting, we're scripting, we're visualizing, we're doing affirmations, we're doing mirror work or shadow work or whatever we're doing. And we uh, consciously are doing all of this work. And then the moment that we switch to our day-to-day -day lives, we go unconscious and some subconscious thoughts start coming up. And sometimes you might feel that you're being pulled towards where you want to go, but somehow there's a force that is sort of keeping you from where you want to go. So how annoying is that, right? There's a force that's keeping you from where you want to go. Like you want to go that way, but you're being pulled, you're being held back by something and you're not sure why. And this all comes down to congruency. This means that you're not fully congruent with where it is that you want to go. And what does that mean? It means that maybe there are some subconscious blocks still there. There is a subconscious belief, subconscious programming through past experiences that is actually the opposite from what it is that you want to manifest. So it will feel like you have to force a lot. It will feel like you're not... Um, getting to where you want to go because all of the time there's something that is pulling you backwards. So we're not moving forward, we're actually moving backwards. And so this brings me to the second point, which is letting go of the old version of you, letting go of these beliefs, letting go of this subconscious pro programming. And how we do that is first identifying what it is. We cannot start working on something if we were not first aware of that it's actually there. We first need to know, actually this belief is blocking me from what I'm trying to achieve. So what you can do is you can start reprogramming yourself and you can also send out to the universe a very powerful intention, which is, one moment, I've written it down here. I am ready to release, let go, unchain myself from any fears, blocks, and beliefs that are holding me back from dot, 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 whatever your thing is that you're manifesting. With this intention, you're telling the universe that they're allowed to intervene to help you to let go of these things. Now, what will happen when you let go of these things is often we first we're being challenged with the thing itself because this is how it comes up this is how we release it this is how we purge it out so what we need to do when something like that happens is we neutralize these thoughts we neutralize these ideas and these beliefs um, we can reprogram it but i think something that is very easy and applicable to your everyday life is simply neutralizing it 
playing out that scenario over and over again, playing out that trigger over and over again, until you feel that there's no emotional reaction anymore, until you feel neutral. And that means that you let go of these low vibrations. And that is a way of how to reprogram your brain. That is a way of how to let go of these things. Now, secondly, is the thing that will help us uh, thirdly that's the thing that will help us to move forward to that which is how can you equip yourself how can you equip your body in order to um to align yourself with that thing are there new skills that you need to learn is there a new level of confidence what is it that needs to change in your health in your mindset in your mindset about financial abundance for example what is it that needs to change in order to shift into that direction because what we do we say with the law of attraction is we attract what we are not what we want so how can we align ourselves how can we align our vessel to be in full alignment to be in absolute alignment with what it is that we want and this is how you manifest your desires this is how you rise to your fullest potential in three easy steps let me know in the comments if there were any aha moments let me know where you guys are tuning in from because i'd love to get to know you and of course if you're new here and haven't already subscribed to my channel, remember to do so as you will be the first to watch all of my videos every Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays so that you can create your best life. Thank you so much for liking this video and for sharing this video with anyone who you think could benefit from this message right now. I'm making it my mission this year to bring this content to as many people as possible so people can start rising to their fullest potential and start creating the lives that they deserve to live in freedom. Remember, we have such an exciting future to look forward to, even if it doesn't seem like it right now. Thank you so much for being here and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Bye for now.